Okay, so the third episode of the original Tenchi Moyo OVA, Ryo Oki, has all the characters take a trip to a hot springs. As far as I know, this is the first bathhouse episode. Certainly not the first bathhouse scene, but the first time an episode of anime was devoted to all the characters spending basically the entire episode at a bathhouse with the copious nudity implied and existing therein. Allow me to explain. At this point in the story, teenage boy Tenchi is living with three girls. The outgoing and self-confident space pirate Ryoko, the prim space princess Ayaka, and Ayaka's bubbly preteen sister Sasami. Both Ryoko and Ayaka have shown some interest in Tenchi romantically, while Sasami enjoys his company but has the typical preteen obliviousness to romance. Uh, in the episode, once they all get to the hot springs, Tenchi's father actually encourage him, encourages him to peek on the girls. He doesn't really want to, but Tenchi accidentally falls into the girls' bath. And that's when something amazing happens. Ryoko's already in the women's bath, and she isn't even wearing a towel. As the self-confident one, she has no problem letting Tenchi see her naked, and indeed proceeds to tease him and run up to him and all that kind of fun stuff. Ayaka and Sasami then walk in, both of them wearing towels. Ayaka takes one look at the situation, Ryoko and Tenchi next to each other. Uh, Ryoko's actually grabbing te uh, Tenchi. Ayaka turns red and starts to leave. Sasami stands there kind of confused, wanting to take her bath, and I'm unclear as to why this is a problem. She's a kid. Ryoko then goes up to Ayaka and begins teasing her about her shyness. She then pulls Ayaka's towel off, kind of asking what Ayaka has to hide, which horrifies Ayaka so much that she slaps Ryoko, who slaps her back. This escalates into a full-scale fight between the two of them. Both naked, of course. Meanwhile, Tenshi and Sasami are kind of finding safe places to hide. Uh, Sasami remains toweled throughout the entire thing, by the way. Now, here's the thing, and here's why I bring it up. This whole sequence is at least partly an excuse to show these girls naked for an extended period of time, the Ryoko and Ayaka. But instead of just doing that, the anime staff uses the scene to tell us important things about the characters. Ryoko has zero body shame and in fact is proud of her body. Ayaka's lived a sheltered life and considers Ryoko's stripping of her rude and abusive, which by the way it is. Sasami the kid doesn't see what the big deal is either way because she isn't old enough to process things sexually. This is how fan service should be treated in anime, as a way of communicating things about the characters. If you're going to include nudity, use it to deepen your story. If you're curious as to how fan service can be done right, go back and watch Tenchi Moyo Ryo Oki OVA 1 Episode 3 and see how they manage to weave fan service into the story. That's what I want. If you're going to have it, use it.